You're wondering where you are? You're live with Cinematic World Movie Studios. <laughs> What's up movie nerds welcome back to another movie review and today I'm reviewing the movie truth or dare for you guys so let me get right into it all right guys so this review okay guys I'm not even gonna get into like and I know you guys are probably wondering why I didn't do a clip last night I just jumped right into it now because sometimes I just don't always have enough time to do a before clip or whatever so I just try to grab those whenever I can but yeah, so here I am with the review, um, so the movie Truth or Dare, okay, and now guys, I remember playing the truth, of the game Truth or Dare when I was a kid, with like, in, literally in 6th grade, I remember playing that game with like a group of friends, like every day at lunch, we would always play that game, every day, and you know, it's silly little kid stuff, you know, like, it's, it's, it's just kiddish stuff, you know, it's always like, yo, truth or dare? Um, dare. Okay, I dare you to kiss whoever. But the point of this movie is, is that it makes you think, what if, just maybe what if the game one day turned deadly? And it turned to the point where you're all scratching your heads thinking, what the hell did we just get into? Well, let me explain that to you guys. So in the movie, it's about six friends, six college friends. They're all on spring break. And basically, they on their last night in Mexico, this guy they meet invites them all to some senate like some church up on some hill or whatever um and basically what goes down is is these kids like they all start playing a game the guy who brought them there suggests they play a game of truth or dare all right but the deal is is that it's like whoever whoever starts the game these group of this group of people somehow has to play the game and the game does the point is is that the game doesn't end until all the players are dead the game does not end until all the players are dead all right and the only way you can break the game is by having the the, the distributor of the game um basically perform like some ritual Basically, whoever this was who started it possessed the game. And it's making you do, like, all this crazy stuff. And basically, the deal is, is if you don't do the dare, if you don't do the dare, you have to, if you pick truth or dare, then you, if you pick truth or dare, then it gives you a truth. And the truth or dare that they give you usually is something you don't want to do. Right? Right? So normally a lot of people, because you know dares are always going to be the most dangerous ones in the movie, right? Basically, they don't want to do it because, like, you know, they always pick truth because then they'll just get a truth and it won't be something deadly. But the game is smart. It's too smart. And it knows your every move. So you can't outsmart the game. If it knows you're picking truth too many times just so you won't die, then it's going to force you to pick dare or you die. But like the game, it's in the movie, it's smart. It knows you. Basically. So, yeah. Basically, that's what it's like. And you always get these dares. Like whenever it becomes your turn, like at one point in the movie, I'm not spoiling anything, but she came up with a dare. This one girl came up with a dare. You guys probably know the famous Lucy Hale, Pretty Little Liars. 
she basically came up with a dare. Or no, she got she chose truth for her turn. And she explained that one of her best friends was constantly cheating on her boyfriend. So then she told she was all mad at her and she went to go grab her hand and try to make things right again. And she said, touch me with that hand again and I swear I'll break it. So basically, when it became this girl's turn, she picked dare. And you know what the dare was? Follow through with your promise. Break Olivia's hand with a hammer. And that was her dare. And it's just all these deadly dares. Like, the game doesn't end until everyone dies. That's how it works. I know, it sounds ridiculous to think about, but believe me, it's actually true. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to say that if you guys are scary people on this movie, then... It's really good, like, they really did it well done if they're trying to scare people, because it really was kind of creepy. But, yeah, I mean, 10 out of 10 review, everything about it's amazing, and I think you guys will really like it. So, yeah, definitely check out Truth or Dare, and I will see you guys in the next review, which will be tonight. And I actually already have that set up, so I'll have that released in just a minute. Alright, so that's going to do it for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.